Hello and welcome to vmzlounge.com. In this video, we are talking about everything that we know regarding Pimbog Guide Edition 7. And I get questions on Pimbog Guide Edition 7 left, right, and center. The simple reason for that is some of the folks are undecided whether they should take up the new PMP exam before Pimbog 7 comes out. And that is why this entire wait of Pimbox 7. But what are the updates that we have regarding Pimbox 7 when it comes to PMI.org? What is it that PMI has shared, right? So for that, we'll go over to the PMI website and there are quite a lot of updates that PMI has shared when it comes to Pimbox Guide Edition 7. No, it is not likely that it is going to come out in early 2021. I know that PMI has mentioned that in several places on their website, but I highly doubt it. I have my reservations. PMI can always prove me wrong if they want to, but let me share my screen and take you to the relevant sections of the PMI website. As always, the links to whatever that I'm sharing will be available in the description below so you can check for yourself. But let me share my screen and tell you uh, what all is PMI saying when it comes to Pimbog Guide Edition 7. So let's get started. This is the link that I'll share in the description below as well. Right. So it talks about Pimbog Guide Edition 7 coming in 2021. It doesn't say early 2021 here, but you will find, uh, you know, somewhere PMI uh, mentioning that this is coming out in early 2021. All right. So some of the things that uh, you should know when it comes to Pimbo Guide Edition 7, these are the key facts that you should know. And it talks about the standard for project management. This is also a document for those of you that have downloaded the online version, uh, the ebook for Pimbo Guide, you might be aware of standard of project management as well. So this is a document and the other one is a guide to the, uh, the Pimbog guide basically, right? So it talks about the framework for applying the standard. The standard is the standard for project management. The next edition reflects the full range of development approaches. So this is where uh, PMI is indicating that we are going to be talking about other development approaches, not just waterfall, right? Without preference for one over another. So PMI does not tell you whether you should follow waterfall or agile or hybrid or whatever, there's no reference that PMI is uh, preference that PMI is giving here, right? Instead of focusing solely on deliverables of the projects, the deliverables could be the product of the project. They could be all the documents that PMI wanted you to prepare all this while. But now the focus is shifting from the deliverables of the project to project outcomes. Two. So deliverables of the project, they are also important, but outcomes are equally important. And we are also providing specific considerations for tailoring the development approach and process to unique characteristics of the project. All projects are unique. And how do you tailor the development approach? That is also something that you can expect in Pimbog Guide Edition 7. This is a really good diagram and I have it open here. It basically tells you what are the changes from the Pimbo Guide 6th edition to the 7th edition? So there is a change in the overall approach. Prescriptive, not descriptive. Pimbo Guide edition 6 was prescriptive. They were telling you what to do, right? Emphasis on how, not what or why. So how to do something, right? It was prescriptive. That's what 6th edition was all about. But 7th edition is basically principles to guide mindset, actions and behaviors reflected in bodies of knowledge for project delivery, agile, lean, customer-centered design, etc. So now we are referencing to all these bodies of knowledge and body of knowledge is different from the project management body of knowledge book itself, right? The guide itself. The guide is just a guide to the body of knowledge. And now the seventh edition is going to be a guide that is going to guide you for all these different bodies of knowledge, which are project delivery, agile, lean, customer centered design, etc. Now, if you're wondering where can I buy this body of knowledge itself? 
body of knowledge is basically an ocean it cannot uh, be contained in one book right so Pimbao guide edition 7 is basically going to talk about all this and then it says basis for design what was the basis for design for sixth edition right then it talks about project environment project environment was internal external it remains the same in seventh edition as well project application most projects most of the time but now we are focusing on any project so we will be talking about so many things in Pimbao guide edition 7 and we are also going to uh, be going over the tailoring considerations that PMI is going to provide us right so that way it is going to be applicable on any project target audience used to be project managers but now there are other roles also that that are target audience for Pimbao guide edition 7 project lead sponsor product owner all of these guys degree of change incremental revision based on previous editions so up till edition 6 we had incremental revisions but now 7th edition is principle based to reflect the full value delivery landscape so this is a huge change in Pimbao guide edition 7 now it talks about tailoring guidance reference to tailoring but no specific guidance but now in edition 7 you will have specific tailoring guidance provided by PMI so these are the changes that you can expect in Pimbao guide edition 7 over Pimbao guide edition 6 there are some facts and I'll share a link to this PDF as well uh, what's important here is something that I'd like to talk about this is something that we've already talked about uh, next edition this is also something that we've already talked about it talks about an expanded list of tools and techniques in new section of the guide titled models methods and artifacts this is where you're going to see the present PGKA mapping the process group and knowledge area mapping fall under in the Pimba guide edition 7 right so it talks about additional content on how to apply these tools and techniques and then it mentions something known as PMI standards plus right this is something that I'm going to talk about in a minute because we have that window open as well and we talked about tailoring finally here's where it says it will be available in early 2021 this is what I was looking for and I don't think it will be available in early 2021 but it's still up in the air let's see what happens so these are some of the facts about Pimbok guide and then this is PMI standards plus and this is seems to be a website a platform that PMI is putting together for education right so you know you can download cost management so they just they're just showing that templates are available and let's do it ourselves if you go to content you can filter content with the filters that are provided so let's say we need templates we need all the templates show us all the templates that you have so these are the templates you've got project closeout template risk management plan template so it looks like this website standardsplus.pmi.org will have a lot more content in the coming days right you have this project activity list template if I wanted to download it I could do it I think it's free for everyone so do check this website out it's downloaded already uh, yeah it, it works it just opened I'm not sharing that right now but yeah so that's how it is PMI standards plus this is something watch out for this and then it also talks about in the seven facts it's it also mentioned the tailoring uh, right the detailed tailoring related content that will be provided guidance on tailoring and this is something that they have shared as well tailoring process as outlined in Pimba guide seventh edition so how is the tailoring process being outlined you've got uh, select initial development approach let's actually go down because uh, it, this is a good PDF where they talked about this in uh, some details so first is you can ne you need to select the initial development approach it could be predictive adaptive or hybrid once you're done the next step 
is to modify based on organizational requirements. So what all topics you need to consider? What all are the fields that you need to consider here? Governance, key reviews, quality assurance, policy compliance, PMO or VDO approval. So all these are the things that you need to consider to tailor the approach that you selected in step one here, right? Predictive, ad adaptive or hybrid, whatever that you selected, you need to tailor it based on all these organizational requirements. So that was your second step. In third step, you need to adjust based on size, criticality and other factors. What all do you need to consider? You need to consider adding aspects, removing aspects or modifying aspects. Consider adjusting your approach, whatever approach that you selected in step one, you need to adjust it for your own project. So what are the aspects that you need to add in a hybrid uh, development approach that you've selected, right? That was an example. So then on the fourth and final step is inspect and adapt. So what all do you need to consider here? Efficiency improvements, changes, retrospectives, retrospective meetings, lessons learned. So these are the things that you need to inspect towards the end of the project and then adapt so that the next time you select the initial development approach, you have all these points considered. So this is the tailoring process which will be outlined in the seventh edition. And that is where uh, when we saw this, right, that the project application, most projects, most of the time was edition six, but now this is applicable to any project. This is possible only because Pimbok is going to lay a lot of importance on how you can tailor your project, right? You, how you can tailor the entire thing, tailor the entire process based on your organization, based on your individual project. So I hope this video was helpful. That is all that we know about Pimbo Guide Edition 7 so far. All the links that I have shared will be available in the description. That's all that I had in this video. Smash that like button if you got value out of it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I will keep you updated with whatever that's happening with Pimbo Guide Edition 7. Thank you and have a nice day.